Hello, in this video, I'm going to uh, talk about how to use the Selkie GAT CFD tool and what support is available around the tool. And before we start, I would like to say that um, this tool is very easy to get hold of, very easy to install on your computer and very easy to start creating your own cases and simulations. And you're very welcome to download this tool and start using it. Um, so this is the uh, address of the repository where the code is stored. And if you put it into your browser, it should take you to the login page of the repository. We do have some plans to make this um, repository publicly available by which point you won't need an account to access the code. But um, at the moment, I'm afraid if you would like to start using it, you will have to uh, sign up. But it's a relatively simple process and we will talk about that in a moment. The repository is hosted on GitLab, which is a very powerful platform for software development and uh, distribution. It allows different developers to work on the same project in parallel and then automatically merge the work they've built together. Uh, it also keeps a record of, of the old uh, versions of the tool and, and all the associated changes. So if you would like to go back to a previous version because uh, you liked some of the old features, it's very easy to do that. So now let's go to the website and find out how it works. So I have to stop sharing the slides and start sharing my web browser. And here we go. So this is the login page of the repository. Um, because I already have an account, I'll just uh, uh, log in in a moment. So if you would like to sign up, um, you just have to click on the register button and then fill in these five boxes. There's no extra information required. And then click on register and we will be able to pick up your request and give you access to the repository. So let me just uh, log in. Okay. So this is the overview page of the repository. And normally this is where you would arrive at which, uh, each time you log into the repository. Uh, it's got two folders where um, the code is stored, a couple of license files stating the terms and conditions of using the tool and the readme file, which is quite nicely um, formatted and presented. It's got a very brief introduction of uh, what the tool does what it is and what it does, a couple of open access um, journal papers the tool is based on, and a pseudo code of, um, uh, of the model, which can help you understand the structure of the code if you would like to dig into um, the code itself. It's also got some computer configuration requirements for you to be able to um, download and, and, and install the tool onto your computer. So if your operating system is Linux, then that's great. You can start straight away by following the installation guide to install the tool onto your computer. Um, and then we will talk about the installation guide in a moment. Um, but if your operating system is Windows, then um, you will have to follow these instructions here to download and install um, the Windows subsystem for Linux and Ubuntu to create a Linux environment onto your Windows machine. Uh, once you've done that, you can then uh, follow the same instructions to install the tool under the Linux environment. Uh, if you come across any problems and issues, you're very welcome to use the issue tracker to leave a comment. Um, so the people who have access to the repository will then be able to see your comments and respond to it. Um, the other button, the other page that's quite important in the repository uh, is the wiki pages. So if you click on wiki, it will take you here and you can see that there are five pages in the wiki. The model overview page is very similar to the introduction page we just went through. Uh, it's got a very general overview of the functionalities of the, of the tool. Um, the uh, GAT CFD model page, the second page then, has got the math and theories behind the tool. So once you've gone through this page, you will have a fairly good idea of what the BM model is. But basically, the BM model is, is the core of, of this tool. Uh, you will also be able to find out uh, what modifications we've done so far based on the BM model 
to improve the accuracy of the model in terms of um, predicting power output as well as weight dynamics. And we also provide some lift and drag coefficient lookup tables as a function of Reynolds number and angle of attack for selection of aerofoils. And you can find the details of these lookup tables on the uh, uh, aerofoil characteristics page. Um, here we won't talk about the details. Um, the uh, installation guide can be found on the installation guide page, obviously. Um, so it's very simple. Uh, all you need to do is to download this script, which helps you to set up the necessary environment um, to install the, uh, the tool onto your computer. Once you've done that, you can then uh, follow instructions, basically copying and paste. Uh, this highlights the comments into your terminal and run them using the enter key on the keyboard. The most important thing is to run them in the right order. Uh, apart from the installation instructions, we've also provided a test case for you to test whether the tool has been stored onto your computer properly. So if you click on this link, it will take you to a OneDrive storage space to download the uh, test case. So the test case is stored in the second folder. Uh, the first folder also stores the results that you would get um, if the tool was installed onto your computer properly. So you can do a comparison afterwards to make sure that, that the installation went well. Okay, so the user guide then gives you some instructions of uh, how to run the test case. Again, it's very simple. All you need to do is to copy and paste and run this uh, command in your terminal. So the first block of the commands are for single thread uh, simulations. And the second block of the, co uh, of the command is for uh, parallel simulations. And once you're familiar with these commands, you can actually uh, modify them slightly to make them suitable for your own cases and simulations. Uh, this page also tells you um, what files you will need uh, to create your own cases and simulations uh, using the GAT CFD model. So here is the uh, structure of the, of the files. Um, it also links you to the relevant sections of the open form, official open form documentation to find out the details of these files. Um, so for example, if you would like to find out what um, the block mesh dict file works, um, so this file defines the dictionary for block mesh generation, all you need to do is to go to section um, 5.3 of the open form documentation. You can find it, you can click on this link and go to the documentation. So let's click on section 5.3. Here we go. Um, so here you will be able to see that it, it talks about what's in the file in a great detail and explains what each of the variables means. Once you've understood that, um, you can then modify um, the file according to your own cases. Um, so yeah, um, it's the same for all the other files. And if you scroll further down uh, here, I think this part of the instruction is relevant to um, the bits we added um, to the open form, which is used to simulate turbines. Uh, I think that's everything. Uh, I hope you found that helpful.